And it's now time for this day in Scream Eagles history. We start back in 1998, where the Scream Eagles suffered their first loss in three home games on this particular season with a 7-3 defeat to the Oceanique. Four-point night for Jonathan Beaulieu and three points for Julian DeRossier. Brad Richards with two assists for the Oceanique. Ryan Walsh had two goals in this game for Cape Breton. Philippe Tremblay had two assists. Eagles forward Sandro Sabroka dropped the gloves on this night with Casey Leggett. Philippe Sauvé makes 27 saves on 30 shots for the win for the Oceanique. In 2002, the Scream Eagles fell 6-2 to the Montreal Rocket in Montreal. Marc-Andre Fleury given the hook after allowing five goals on 14 shots. Corey Urquhart had three assists for the Rocket. Michael Lambert with two goals. Steve Villeneuve and Guillaume Demers were the Eagles goal scorers on this night. Maxime Lacerda of the Cape Breton dropping the gloves with former Scream Eagle Tyler Noy. Quite a few other scraps in this game. Also, as Steve Villeneuve, Francois Sané, Maxime Robert, Kevin Aslan, and JF Dufour of the Eagles all dropping the gloves in this contest. The Eagles actually outshot Montreal 38-37, but Jonathan Kerr makes 36 saves for the win. In 2004, the Scream Eagles fell 4-1 in Bay Camote of the Dakar. Four different goal scorers in this game for Bay Camote, including future Scream Eagle Alex Blay. Benjamin Bro had two assists for the Dracar. Loic Lacasse made 36 saves on 37 shots. Francois Proto with the start for Cape Breton, stopping 35 of 39. Neil Smith scored the only goal for the Eagles. Scrapping on this night for Cape Breton were Robin Richards and Charles Fontaine. In 2005, the Scream Eagles fell 4-2 on home ice to the Halifax Mooseheads as Rain Carnegie and Ryan Hillier each had a goal and two assists. Kevin Cormier with a goal for the Mooseheads in this game. 22 saves for Jeremy Duchesne of the Mooseheads. Kevin Asselin had a goal and an assist for Cape Breton, and Dean Ouellette also scored for the Eagles. Rough night for Andre Pavlak as he allowed three goals on 14 shots. In 2006, the Scream Eagles were victorious on home ice 7-3 or the St. John's Fog Devils. Chris Culligan had three assists for Cape Breton, Cam Fergus two goals, three-point nights for Alex Cannell, and two points for J.C. Sawyer and future Wildcat Scott Brannon. Brannon picked up the Gordie Howe hat-trick in this game, fighting Wesley Welcher. Brad Galant of the Eagles dropping the gloves with Keith Boomba. St. John's had a spread-out offense on this night with nine different point-getters, including a goal from Mario Kempe. Lots of Scream Eagles connections on this St. John's team, as future Scream Eagle Luke Adams suiting up, along with future Scream Eagle Taylor McDougal, former Scream Eagle Luke Gallant, and former Scream Eagles property Kyle Stanley. In the year 2011, the Scream Eagles were victorious 4-3 on home ice over Halifax. Eagles were on a four-game home ice winning streak to start the season. Eagles were actually down 3 to nothing in this game, but scored three times in the third period to complete the comeback. Morgan Ellis had two assists for Cape Breton, and David Rose had a goal and an assist. Corey McIntosh, the game winner for Cape Breton. This was actually Brad Kuzner's first game back at Center 200 after being picked up on waivers by the Mooseheads having played for the Eagles the prior two years. It was also Nathan McKinnon's first visit to Center 200. He had no points in this game. Darcy Ashley had a goal and an assist, though, for Halifax. In 2015, the Scream Eagles were victorious 7-3 on home ice over Moncton, chasing former Scream Eagle goaltender Zach Fortin, who allowed five goals on 21 shots and has returned to Center 200. Two goals and an assist for Loic Lavier of Cape Breton, and two-point nights for Olivier LeBlanc, Felix Martineau, and Max Lazaret. Olivier LeBlanc and Clark Bishop both dropping the gloves with Kelly Klima of the Wildcats in this game. A number of other scraps, Ty Fournier fighting Zach McEwen, Jonathan Deschamps of the Eagles fighting William Bauer. Also a big night for Cole Reginato as he had his first Q career goal. Big night for Connor Garland in the loss as he had a goal and two assists for the Wildcats. That's this day in Screaming Eagles history. You're listening to McDonald Autogroup, Screaming Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.